All right, hello everybody. Uh, we're gonna do a little tutorial uh, for getting your footage, your files off the CF card in your uh, XF100 and onto Final Cut so you guys can edit. It's a little bit tricky, maybe not for most of the people in the class, but some of the newcomers, some of those who uh, are a little bit unsure about their editing skills, uh, this might help and I figure if we put together a link on YouTube, then you can access it as much as you want and learn as much as you want as often as you want. So hopefully this will help you. So the first thing we have is, now I, I have my CF card right now and you guys we're going to get really used to this camera over the course of the semester, but I have my CF card in slot B in my XF100, so I'm going to take that out first. And you'll notice, if you haven't seen these before, even though we've now, by now we've seen them in class, but they're much bigger than the SD cards that we're used to shooting on most other cameras. It's a pretty big card. It doesn't fit into any slots on your uh, laptop, uh, at least chances are. So what you need is we have this card reader. Now, there's a couple of card readers down in post-production. There are some, I have some card readers in my office, so if you ever need one, definitely feel free to come up and see me and borrow one. You can also go down the post and get it there. But you need your card reader, and then we're gonna hook that up into our laptop. Okay. So one of the first things we do once everything's set is stuff that you're pretty much used to doing if you've done any editing, which all of you should have by now. Uh, we're gonna go up to file, and we're gonna create a new folder on our desktop and I'm gonna call it 3701 test. Okay, I'm gonna move that to the middle so it's a little bit easier to see. Then once I have my folder on my desktop, then I can open up Final Cut Pro. Okay, well now the first thing we obviously need to do is we need to reset our scratch disk. So I'll go up to Final Cut Pro system settings. You guys should all know about this by now. This is old stuff. Go to set, and I'm going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to find my 3701 test. Now, if this does turn out to be new to anybody, if, so, if anyone has, has issues with how to set your scratch disk and what have you, definitely come and see me, and we'll talk about it. Okay, so I did all four settings. Desktop 3701. Now, this is where it might get a little bit different, a little bit tricky. It's really just one step, but if you don't know this step, it's, uh, it's a pain. So I've set my scratch disk, I'm opening, I have Final Cut open, I have my CF card in the card reader, life is good. Now I need to log and transfer. Uh, now on my computer there's a plugin that allows me to log and transfer the, CF one, the uh, cards for the XF100 uh, in the CF cards. So uh, every computer down in post-production also has this plugin that allows you to do that. Your computers might not. If they do not and you would like that plugin on your computer, come and see me and I'll try to put that on your computer. But I can do it. Any computer down in post can do it, so you should be able to uh, access it anyway. And once you get the information on t into, your f uh, into that folder, you don't need to use the, uh, that plugin again. So we go up to File, and basically we're going to go down to Log and Transfer, just like you've done in the past. And what's going to pop up is the screen that has all, every file you've shot. Now, I only have three files here, uh, maybe 20 seconds, let me count it, uh, actually 15 seconds worth of footage. So it's going to be pretty quick when I log and transfer. If you do a seven minute interview, 10 minute interview, it's going to take a little while. When you have 30, 40, 50 files that you're trying to bring over, it, it can take a little while. So I'm going to highlight each one. So I highlighted all three files and then I'm going to bring my cursor down and it says here, it's pretty small, but it says add selection to queue. And I'm going to click on that and you're going to see all three files are being brought down here and one by one they're being brought into my bin up in the top left corner. One file's just been brought in, here comes a second file, and here comes the third file. And again, because it's, the files are so small, it really only takes a couple of seconds, but if you shoot an entire project, you know, feel free to uh, highlight all your files, add your selection to, uh, to queue, and then go watch a movie and come back, and it'll, because it could take up to an hour. Then I will X out of this uh, window. Okay. So I have my three files here, and I can click on any of the three files and they'll pop up. And so let's just bring, you know, so if you want to, you can start editing right away. I set, uh, and let's set another in point here, we'll set an out point here, and I can just drag it right down to my timeline, you know, if I want to. So, uh, but if you don't want to edit right now and you just want to hold on to your files or if you want, if they're not, if you're doing it in post and you want to be able to edit somewhere else, then basically it's, you're e it's easy to find your files and you don't even have to go to Final Cut uh, once the uh, files are transferred. So I'm going to hide Final Cut real quickly and then I will open up my folder 
And under 3701 test, I'm going to go to Capture Scratch and Untitled Project, because I haven't really haven't titled it yet. And there are my three folders, or three files within the folder. So you should feel free, if you have your hard drive and you've uh, done your login transfer and everything's on, your, on the desktop, then just move things right into your hard drive and you can take it with you and edit anywhere you want. So that'll work out really well for you guys and it should be fine. Again, if you have any questions about how to get it off the CF card into Final Cut, definitely come and see me, but this tutorial hopefully will help you along. Thanks. Oh, I want to say uh, thank you to my son Evan who's behind the camera. I don't know, you can just show your face. Say hi. He did a good job of, uh, of shooting this uh, video, so we can also thank him. He'll get credit. I'll show a little credit. I'll also pay him a lot of money too. So, See ya. Bye.